Hey guys, day number 10 of 366 days. And uh, that's 366 days of Facebook Live. And my name is Alan Thomas. I have Rethink Dieting for Men and I also have the company Transform My Future. That's what Rethink Dieting is part of. And tonight I'm going to talk to you about um, all this diet talk. You know, in 2017, and I tell this every night, but I, but you know, I want you guys to know the perspective I come from. In 2017, I reached 304 pounds after um, just years and years and years of trying different diets and trying one thing after another, and you know, literally dozens and dozens of them. I think I counted up easily over 70 diets, and many of those that I that I failed on multiple times, but hitting 304 pounds was, was a real awakening for me. And I realized that I had the likelihood of me living, um, into my sixties was very slim. I was, even though I was very unslim, I had, um, I was 55 years old, beautiful wife, four, four kids from 15 to 27 years old. And I knew that my days were numbered and I went out, uh, I, I completed a 260 day journey that, um, of losing weight publicly and went from a hunt to 304 pounds to 175 pounds in that time period. And I don't say that to impress you. I just say it because I know where you are. You know, if you're, if you're somebody to struggle with weight, whether you've got 25, 50, hundred, 200, 300 pounds to lose, it's, it, it's the same struggle. And this time of year, I was always paying real close attention prior to 2017. I was always paying real close attention to what the diets were that were being advertised. I was watching those diets because I was looking for the perfect diet. Now, just so you know, the definition of a perfect diet for me was a diet that I could eat everything that I wanted, didn't have to exercise a whole lot and would be super, super easy and would be something that I wouldn't have to use any kind of willpower whatsoever at any point in time. That's a perfect diet. And I'm still looking for that one. It doesn't exist to my knowledge. And, you know, it, it but if I would have spent my time thinking about making a decision instead of a diet, I think I would have been, uh, would have never, well, I don't think I'm positive. I would have never reached 304 pounds. I would have never been overweight to start with. You know, today I was, um, you know, we, we, we spend so much time making sure that our, that our lives are in order when it comes to things like, you know, our, our electric bill. Let's just use that as an example. If you're, um, if you treated your electric bill like you treat your your weight if you struggle with obesity like I did and, and I use the term obesity it's just a it's just a, a statistical term it you look it up if you're obese own it if you're morbidly obese like I, I was own it it's um it's not meant to be derogatory it's just a fact the word fat is a is kind of an opinion term but obesity and morbid obesity that's that's real and but I, but I was thinking, you know, with, if I treated my electric bill, like my, like I treated my weight loss, I would have, ne I would have had my power turned out the first month. You know, we look at, we look at weight loss as this thing will do one day and this, and how it's, well, my knees hurt a little bit, or my ankles hurt, or I'm, I've been diagnosed with a little cholesterol, or I've been this, and in those, those kind of mild things that are, are serious, but they, they don't have a real impact on us. You know, you get your lights shut out, you, you'll get down to the electric company and you'll, you'll take care of it. But when you're talking about weight, there's so much, I talk to so many men that are, that, you know, when they realize what it's costing them in other areas and you, you may listen, you may have a great relationship with your spouse or your significant other, but if you have an extra 50 or 100, 150 pounds, I'd be really shocked to know that it, you wouldn't feel better if you were at your ideal weight. And I'm not saying this to shame you. I'm just speaking from personal experience. You know, it, it was it, it was pretty 
you know, pretty bad deal for my wife when, uh, when I weighed an extra hundred and something pounds. And, and so it wasn't a good deal for her and it wasn't a good deal for my kids. And I can, I can remember my, my wife telling me that uh, one of my older, uh, older sons said, I guess dad just doesn't love us enough to get the weight off. And so it, it all, it all came from the fact that losing weight was just something that I was going to do one day. It was something that I was, you know, I, it wasn't that important, even though I was 304 pounds, that's pretty freaking important. But if I'd have treated it like it was important as paying my power bill, I mean, you know, the, the power company that I use, they don't put a, they don't, they don't have a optional do it later, but it was way, it's way more important than my power bill ever was. You know, when I, when my, when I look at the difference of losing weight and how it stepped into, how it changed my confidence level and how it changed my, my business and how it changed my relationships and all those things, my power bill was, should have come way, way below where, how I treated my, my weight. And I hope this makes sense to you, but it just occurred to me, you know, we, we put so much emphasis on these things and, and then we look for this diet thing. And do you have to change what you eat to lose weight? Of course you do. I say it every night. Of course you do. I'm not a doctor, nutritionist, dietitian, physical fitness expert, none of that. But, but I can tell you, you're going to have to change what you eat. And, and you're not going to be able to, to cheat all the time and, and lose weight. You're going to have to make a decision, just like you make a decision to write a check or transfer money or go online and pay, pay your power company. You're going to have to do that, that too with weight. And because it's costing you way more, your, your late charges here are way higher than they ever are with, with, with the power bill. You can get your power turned back on, but if you, but if you mess around with your weight long enough, you, you may not have that chance. You know, you may have all these, and I, I think pretty much everyone has dreams and goals. I've not spoken to anyone that didn't have a that didn't have dreams and goals, whether it be just to retire, whether it be to to start their own business, whether it to be to kind of excel in their business, or or you know do things with their family, or you know play with their grandkids, or whatever, depending on the age and that. But we all have these dreams of hope for the future. But if you don't, if I didn't get my weight in check. I was almost guaranteeing my future was over. Now I, you know, I'd go to the doctor and the doctor would say, gosh, for a fat guy, he wouldn't say it that way. But for somebody that's your weight, you're in amazing good, good shape. You don't have high blood pressure. You got a little bit of cholesterol. I'd love for you to lose your weight, but you're in great shape. And I could lean into that and think it's okay. But at the end of the day, you know, I was literally playing, playing Russian roulette with my, with my life. All those hopes, all those dreams, all those plans gone. And so, it, you know, if, if I didn't make it, so what I say to you guys is not to be an alarmist, but you know, if you're looking for a diet to solve this problem, that's going to be easy. There's not going to be one. And all the advertisements out there, we'll try them. I've tried just about every one of them out there. And, and there's some, some that are good, some that are bad. If you're looking for a diet, you know, Google it, look up, you know, different ways to eat. There's a thousand different things you can do. But if you're, if you're ready to make a decision, well, that's, that's different. If you know what you're playing for, if you know the kind, of, the kind of stakes you really are playing for, and you don't have to be 55 to, to, to die from obesity. <laughs> you just don't. And I, I know that's very, very severe, but you don't have to be 55 to do it. And, and, you know, and I'm speaking to men and women and, you know, my wife and I are working with ladies too. Uh, we started a, a ladies program as well that taken a handful of ladies into a beta program, but, but you, it's costing you in ways that, that you can ever think about it. Just think about what it's costing you. I'm not talking about money necessarily it could be costing you there too, but think about that. Those times when you, when you, didn't get a raise or you didn't get the job promotion because of the, because of your weight. They didn't say it to you, but you didn't get, and I talk about that a lot. Or you, you know, maybe didn't speak up in a meeting because you were ashamed of how, of how you looked. 
you didn't say it, nobody said it, but it's, it's, how you, it's how you felt. And my heart goes out to you. I've been there. I know what that feels like. And, but here's the good news. It is 100% possible to get the weight off. It is. I'm just, nobody can convince me otherwise. Is it easy? Heck no. Is it simple? Yes. But it's a, it starts with a decision. It starts with a decision. And, I, and on my website, um, on, on Transform My Future, my, my business page, I have in there, Rethink Dieting, it's, a, it's not a diet, it's a decision. Because that's really what it is. Do you have to change what you eat? I say it over and over. Yes. Do you have to make different choices? Yes. Do you need to find a diet that you're going to stick to the rest of your life? No. No. How do you know you're going to stick to the rest of your life? You don't. I mean, it's absurd to even think these things, but these are the kind of things I hear. Well, I'm looking for something I could stick to for the rest of my life. Well, you don't know what the rest of life holds. So, so why don't you just take the day? You know, Martin Luther King said, said uh, one of my favorite quotes is, you know, all you, and I believe it goes like this, all you need to see is the next step. You don't need to see the whole staircase, but the first step is a decision, 100%. And if I can help you, if you, if this resonates with you and you want to have an honest conversation about weight, you can book a, book a breakthrough session with me at transformmyfuture.com forward slash apply. Um, I am actually doing a live presentation on January 1st, this Friday at 2 p.m. And there's a link in, uh, in here that you can click that link and uh, get access to that live presentation. We'll be, we'll, I'll be answering, um, answering the chat and you'll get to hear some of the, the five-step strategy that I use to get my weight off. So start the new year right. Jump on there with me. Um, if somebody you know needs this, you know, Send it to them. Reach out to them. It's uh, it, but it's but if you're ready to make a decision now, and you really know you need help and you want a strategy, um, go to transformmyfuture.com/apply. You guys have a great night. We will see you tomorrow.